I came back and I'm not shitting you. My Spanish was better than <coughs> like my mom's than other natives because I was just so immersed in it. You know, I was Madrid six months, six months. Yeah. How was it? I was dope, dude. I loved Madrid. How was the food? Amazing. Like everybody says. Amazing. Like, yeah. Seafood inspired everything. Right? A lot. Yeah. Everything. I mean, but like Spanish right? cuisine is, I mean, I think it's phenomenal. So yeah, it was, yeah, a lot of seafood. I mean, I always saw the paella, all the famous. All the mariscos like, and all that so shit. It's so good. Yeah. It's so good. When I was in uh, Jersey this last time, there's a, and you can't compare it. There's a place called Las Tapas on Bergen Line Avenue, and I went in there to fucking pay. It was great. Uh, but my all time favorite paella back there is a dump. It's in, always like that, in though. In Moonaki, New Jersey, where fucking, for some reason, everybody's head is just huge in <laughs> Moonaki. You know, every time you see people walking like that, trying to carry their head, something happened with the water there, <laughs> giant stadium, something. I don't even know if Moonaki has a high school and they would have blown it up by now. I don't fucking know. But. They got a fucking pie and it's dirty. A volunteer, you got to give them 45 minute notice. And then you got to warm up because you got the shrimp with the garlic. Yeah. And you got to dip the bread in the garlic. If not, it just doesn't fucking work. And out I like when you. you scrape that pan. That garlic pan. Oh, my oh God. My Jesus God. Christ. Christ, man. I just went. I had the clam. That's what right top is on, basically, our appetizers yeah. and shit like that. But it's funny. My mother used to, she said that. My mother told me she had to do like, I, and I can't do the timeline. Like when she, I'm trying to figure it out now. My mother had to do like a six month apprenticeship with my grandmother on my father's side because they were from Spain and she had him spoiled rotten. With what, how she cooked and everything? Yeah, yeah. So that was part of the deal to get married to him. You, had you gotta to know how to cook for Cook him. for him. Whoa. So when my father That's died. That's some old school shit. Yeah. So when my father died, my mother kept cooking those meals. And there was a fish soup that she made that nobody's ever made because she would take the fish and break it into little strands to take the bones out with potatoes or some fideo. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you put fideo, it's noodles, but fideo is something completely different. Like, yeah. Uh, when you have fideo, you mm -hmm. know you're having fucking fideo. And did your dad die in Cuba? Or? No, he died in Union City. He did. He died in Union City. And how 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 much before your mother? Did he die? 13 years. 13 years before she 13 died. 13 years before my mother. Did you remember your dad? I could lie to you. Sections. Like, I remember two stories. I, I, I remember me and him driving under Lincoln Tunnel with me sitting on his lap, which you couldn't do today, no seatbelt, yeah. <laughs> smoking a cigarette. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll throw yeah. you in jail for that. Oh, yeah. And I remember him and my mother talking in the living room, like, very and me eating bread with uh, olive oil. Mm -hmm. like I, but that's it. I don't remember nothing else. But yeah. it's fucking sickening that I feel his presence. Like, whenever I leave the house, you know, I worry about my daughter. You know, you, 30 fucking five school shootings this year. It's crazy. You know, you see that little young kid's face. Did you see the one fucking 12-year-old? He's like, I get a bat, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> No. And that's how these kids got to be. Yeah, yeah. They interviewed a 12 year old kid from the Colorado shooting this mm -hmm. past week. Yeah. And the kid was like, I'll take a bat or whatever. He said, You got a bat. Yeah. He's like, yeah. I don't want to go down. I'm not going to go down unless I'm swinging. That's, you know, and that's, I'm trying to, how old is your oldest, eldest now? He is uh, three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah, yeah. You got two more years to not to worry. And then they go to kindergarten and then you're yeah. on the road and there's a school shooting. And, you know, when there's a school shooting in Kentucky, it affects all of us. Yeah, of course. No, it's terrible. You know, man. and it's amazing how people who don't have kids. You, I, dog, my whole view has changed on kids. I've always loved kids anyway. Like, I've always, I'm not Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm not going to invite him to the house. No, and no, but yeah. A great adventure but kids with are great. Yeah. But I like kids. I like yeah. talking to them. I like observing kids and yeah. where their head is at. You know, when all that shit happened before, you grieve for the parents. Like, you're like, I would hate to be. No, no parent should have to bury their child. No. You know? So you grieve about all that shit. But at the same time, now Mercy goes to school. And now when I'm on the road or whatever, you have to fucking uh, prepare them. You have to prepare them. Like I've already shot a gun in front of her just to see if she'd shit her pants. You know, just you have to prepare them, man. It's a different fucking world. And I got to tell you something. If anybody should have shot up a school, it would have been a guy like me. <laughs> 
that lost his mother at 17, that fucking was really confused, that was angry at the world, you know, this God that they talked to me about for fucking 15 years, where the fuck is he? Yeah. Because no God would remove his mother from his kid. Right. And I would never think of blowing you know, At that age, I, no. first of all, this is my place of business. Yeah. That's why I sold my ass <laughs> and how am I going to shoot up my own joint? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> why am I going to shoot up my own joint? Yeah. So I just, it just doesn't, uh, just doesn't make fucking sense to me when they no, shoot the no the fucking shooting thing is so goddamn depressing man you see did you see the fucking gun raid in Holmby Hills yeah a thousand holy guns. shit now, where's Holmby Hills that's that's a Beverly Hills Bel Air adjacent like right there it's big time money and they they fucking found a thousand guns I saw sheets and covers yes, and shotguns dude. like rifles assault rifles all kinds of shit that motherfucker had more guns than lincoln <laughs> yeah he did <laughs> that motherfucker was going to war That's he was the ready to go. i think they said he was a white supremacist I think they haven't what, really yeah. released much info you know who Some, owned the house there's the uh, getty one of the daughters of the getty one i'm telling really. you something's yeah. not right either. by the way how fucking upsetting is it that uh the okay symbol has been hijacked yeah. like that now that's an uh, a white supremacist thing do you know that i don't even know what the okay symbol is that that is considered. It's a flying asshole. Why? Yeah. From, well, okay? <laughs> that's not an okay for, symbol for, for years. For what is where I came from. Dude? Look at it. That's a flying <laughs> asshole. That's what this was. You ever see an asshole A-OK, fly? No. And then uh, the the South Americans were all like, "This means you're gay." So they're like, "This means you want you want some." Dick in your ass. You make the okay symbol. Yeah, yeah. this has always been yeah. dick in your ass. Yeah, put a dick in my. You know, ass. if you go, if you're standing on the corner and some guy yeah. pulls up at the light and goes like this, yeah, he's asking you, yeah. you want to dick me in the fucking ass for the small thirty? <laughs> he's giving you three oh. fingers yeah. or the small three hundred. When yeah. I grew up, it was a game. Like if you got someone to see it, you got to punch them. That was the. It was a game. But now, yeah, now it's. Well, who, who would you play these games with? I don't know. Are the little faggy fucking kids? I guess this they're... means fucking in the ass. Yeah. And this means a flying asshole. <laughs> but now it well, means me white fucking power. You remember, your, you remember your first blowjob? Yeah. What was the guy's name? <laughs> I got Joey. You <laughs> God damn it. Did you ever experiment? Did you do some gay shit? No. Not even a little bit? Not even He's a little. He's thinking about it now. Yeah. No, no I'm not. You know, I wrestle him. No, no. He's been on. to gay bars and shit. Not yet. I, just the, a Monday night life, wrestling. Life is young. Life is young. I could, you I ever could. had like a tennis coach who was like, no, nah, you got to do it like this. Or, <laughs> I, was, you, I was a chubby you, kid. No one ever did that to me. Did you watch a documentary on that soccer coach? It's no. on HBO. I caught the first fucking hour of it. And I had to turn it off because I could see my wife's jaw dropping. We're going in like fucking Marines, you understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.